Researchers at the University of Minnesota Center for Cardiovascular Repair have taken a significant step towards developing blood vessels or organs that are made from your cells. In theory, those organs could be transplanted into your body. It opens the notion that we can make any organ. At first we focused on the heart, but our hope is that if you need it, we can make it. Dr. Taylor's lab developed a process called whole organ decellularization, the process of removing all the cells from an organ, leaving only the extracellular matrix. You can think of it as a bare wooden frame for a house. The process starts by removing a heart from an animal cadaver, in this case a rat. A catheter is inserted into the organ and a solution slowly drains cells from the heart. Over the course of several hours, the solution removes everything but the extracellular matrix. After the heart is completely drained, it is ready to be reseeded with a fresh crop of cells. At this point, we inject the scaffold with cells, your cells. We leave it in the lab for about a week, and after that, the cells actually begin to contract and the heart starts to pump. In theory, the decellularized organ, now with cells, is on the way to becoming a new heart. Initially, we thought this was just a good idea, but when we saw the first heartbeats, we were speechless. Dr. Harold Ott, a previous member of the Center for Cardiovascular Repair, who now works at Massachusetts General Hospital, played a vital role in developing this process. I see the drastic need for more donor organs by simply working in a hospital setting on an everyday basis. If our research becomes applicable to humans, which we think it may, it has the potential to save millions of lives. We believe in giving nature the tools and getting out of the way. So we took nature's own building blocks to build a new organ. We're not there yet, but this is a good first step.